demonstrating an app that I created using Power Apps in conjunction with a Power Automate flow that is able to uh, display a whole bunch of additional metadata for files that have been uploaded into various SharePoint document libraries. So what I did initially was I started off with uh, a new team site which has the standard documents library and site assets library on it and I went and created two new libraries, a pictures library and an assets library such that uh, there are four different types of SharePoint libraries on the site now. In each of those uh, libraries, I uploaded 15 different files, the same 15 different files in each of the libraries, uh, different types of files, JPEG files, uh, MP4 files, a couple of documents, etc. And basically what I wanted to do in this demonstration was show how that information can be surfaced within Power Apps using different techniques and how a whole bunch of additional information can actually be uh, surfaced on all the different types of libraries uh, using the same Power App application using a flow that uh, makes use of the render list data, a stream API, to REST API to expose that data. So if we just have a look here, what this uh, is, is a, it's a normal data table that uh, displays the different files, the 15 different files have uploaded to the site. When I upload them, uh, after a few hours, uh, certain text uh, gets extracted and, uh, and things like tags get updated and extracted text as well as key points. So if I go into the library, you'll see that that same information is available to be uh, that you can view in SharePoint uh, directly. On a new document library, you won't see all the same columns. Um, sometimes you need to first load uh, a few files in there, wait a few hours for it to actually go and create those other columns, and you can then add that to your standard view. So if I just quickly go back in here. So essentially what I've done is I've, I've created this uh, screen that's got four different data cards on it. On each of the data cards, it shows the different libraries. So this is the documents library. Over here, we've got the site assets library. Over here, I've got the pictures library. And the fourth thing I have is now a media assets library. If we look at each one, each one by default exposes a certain amount of information and regardless of the type of the file itself, uh, it doesn't always expose exactly the same information. So here for a documents library, it's exposed some tags, it's, it's extracted some text out of uh, basically um, OCRing some of the text and it's also extracted key points out of a Word document that I've got over here. That's in a document library. If we look at a site assets library, it's done all of the same things, exactly the same things, but it's also exposed the location, which being being the uh, country, uh, province, or, or uh, state, as well as uh, city. In a, if we look at a pictures library, it's done all of the, exactly the same things as well, except it's also up, exposed and a width and a height properties so that you can see the width and the height of photos uh, or media items in that library. And the fourth uh, library that I created, this uh, Media Assets Library, does, again, exactly the same things, but it also promises to show a whole bunch of other information based on the columns that are created on that when, when you provision that library, such as date taken, keywords, copyright, etc. Unfortunately, if you actually go and look at the library, none of that information is populated, even though the columns are there. So the information that gets extracted when the metadata is generated uh, a few hours after you uploaded the content, none of this information, albeit in an essence library, is actually populated from, from based on what on testing I've done in any case. So it's a little bit pointless creating this if you think you're going to get a whole bunch of additional information. But what I really wanted to show was uh, how I've created a flow that is able to surface that information. So if I go in here, and what, this is connecting to my team site that I created. And I run a flow that calls the render list data stream API. And what it's able to do is expose a whole bunch of other really cool data that, that uh, is, is, has actually been extracted, just not surfaced when you're looking at the different SharePoint views. So again, he has exactly the same 15 files that I had in the library. It's picked up the tags. It's also picked up the extracted text as well as the key points I alluded to earlier and the location, except now it's also got a whole bunch of other different parameters that are populated. The date time of a photo taken, keywords, copyright information, frame width of uh, height of, of different files. Now on this view, I've got basically three little tabs here, that uh, three additional tabs here that display exactly the same information, except that it's, it's now going to be displayed in a gallery control. And basically, the, these are just groupings of the fields that are already exposed by the flow. So when I click on this one here, it displays the 
gallery core metadata. It doesn't run the flow again. This is all information surfaced immediately. Over here, I display some media metadata, which shows things like the audio and video uh, information. And I've also got a third tab, tab that's got another gallery over here that displays some location information. So just going back here, if I, if I click across and as we're looking through this, the other thing to note is that it's immaterial when running this flow, what type of uh, library you're actually running, running the flow against. I can go and click on media assets, run the flow for that, and it will return exactly the same information. So, so unlike SharePoint, which exposes different information depending on uh, which type of library you've actually uploaded the same files to, uh, this flow exposes all of the data regardless of the, of the type of library. So if we look at the uh, some core document metadata that gets exposed that doesn't normally get exposed when you look at it, you'll see things like uh, over here we've got SharePoint or by default on the SharePoint library view, you'll be able to see tags. Now the tags that are listed there are a couple of basic tags that uh, pick up where the photo, whether the photo was taken indoor, outdoor, if it's a sign, things like that. And it also picks up all the keywords that uh, were related to that document when it was up, or that file when it was uploaded. And you'll see here for this particular thing, it's a ship and it's picked up that it's uh, Stockdale DDG 106 Guided Missile Destroyer. But it hasn't actually separated the tags into uh, the same way the tags were actually assigned. So for example, uh, you, if it was extracting it uh, based on groupings of tags, it should say guided missile destroyer, not guided as one tag with a comma separating it to the next one, which is destroyer. Instead, it's just basically put them all uh, into one uh, string space delimited, not, not any grouping of any sorts. But the flow, however, does actually extract the text, uh, extract the keywords and picks up specifically here, Stockdale, guided missile destroyer, things like that. So basically that's that's an additional thing that, that this flow does. What it also does is it can pick up whether there's any copyright information attached to some of the photos or files that have been uploaded. So I can go over here and I can hover over this and it says there's copyright information. You know, So this is great to sort of see that uh, as opposed to actually looking at the library, you won't be able to, uh, if you try and go, if you try and look at the actual library where this has uh, been uploaded to, the copyright information isn't doesn't actually show here. So I'm not gonna go through all that detail right now. If I click across to into the next tab that we've got over here, which is media metadata, you'll see different certain files have cert, have additional information. So just scrolling through here, for example, this MP4 file, it's picked up the the audio, the channel count, uh, the kilobits per second, sample rate, sample size, as well as from the video uh, in terms of uh, things like the 4CC frame rate, frame width, and height. So that's quite a lot of additional information that that is that can be really useful to you if you if you're looking for to expose that type of information because using the standard SharePoint uh, libraries and columns, uh, that information won't be exposed. If I click across to the photo metadata, you'll see a whole bunch of even more awesome data is exposed. So for example, I've got the date, time a photo was taken. I've also got things like the camera manufacturer, model, focal length, F number, exposure time, etc. And on photos that have location information, I've got specific addresses, not just country, state, city. It's country, state, city with a specific, uh, you know, much more specific thing. And it's also extracted things like the latitude, longitude, uh, such that you can open that up in Google and actually see where, where exactly that photo was taken. So this is pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, as you'll see basically, and I'm just waiting for this to load up here. So that's the specific address where that was taken. So all this different type of stuff that's being exposed um, is, is really useful in terms of the kind of power of what you're able to do. But I've added a couple more things that are even more cool. So if I go, for example, and I'm looking at uh, one of these libraries, and uh, let me go into the photos one. Let's say, for example, I was looking for a photo and I knew it was taken in Koh Samui in Thailand. I can actually type in KO, and this is almost, you can consider this similar in nature to a free text search across all the, all the metadata for all the contents in this library. So I click on Koh Samui, and basically it pops, pops back with, uh, pops up with two results, picking up free text information relate, relating to the two photos that match that criteria. I can also go, for example, and I can say, show me all photos where there's copyright uh, copyright metadata attached to, the, to this. And I can basically click over there. If I go to this one, it picks up the copyright. Now I can even go further and I can say, well, I know that uh, there's a copyright, uh, kevinmarkpass.com. If I go and search for Kevin, 
run this flow, it will go also and retrieve exactly the same item and pick up that information. I can further go and say I'm looking for all photos that contain, or I'm looking for all photos that are outdoor. Run that. So this is really, really powerful stuff. It's, it's doing a free text search across different metadata properties. All of these contain outdoor uh, in terms of the, 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 the tags that have been associated with it. I could even go further and say, show me anything that's got a, a height of 5312. You know, and just, just to kind of give you different examples, just to show, you know, this really is basically like a, 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 a in essence, a, a full text search across different uh, parameters. I can go and type in something like Mozam, and I can do a partial search and run that for Mozambique. And again, it picks that information up from there. And if I type in in a barn, it'll pick up library, different library apps, assets pertain that have that keyword again the, all these different things are are uh, work exactly the same in terms of the flow that i've created that exposes all this information regardless of the type of library uh, where those files are being uploaded to and uh, you really do get a lot of uh, really cool text for example uh, here's an example of a resume that i've got uploaded on the site when i hover over that exposes things like time to read at a glance and that's very similar in nature to what you get uh, in fact it's it's exactly the same as what happens when I look at that same document uh, in SharePoint. So there's that resume file. When I hover over it now, it gives me a, it gives me a quick look uh, such that I can see time to read and I can see at a glance. And that's basically, um, you know, the, the exactly what I'm doing over here. It's the metadata that I can actually pick up uh, just using this flow that I've created. So I'm going to be creating a separate video for uh, to explain a little bit about what the flow does. But um, I hope you guys are excited about what's to come. Take care.